To make this strap, I'm going to use this 3 quarter inch polypropylene webbing. To be honest with you, 1 inch or 1 and a half inch would probably be a better choice in my opinion. But this is what I happen to have on hand and I've got a little bit of a time crunch here so I'm just going to use it. I'm going to pad the strap with this 3D mesh. It's a really light padding material and it's breathable. I'm going to sandwich the webbing in between a layer of the 3D mesh and a layer of the same material that I made the bag out of. I'll start by sewing the 3D mesh and the nylon together inside out and then I'll turn them right side out. Before I turn this piece right side out, I just rolled over the edge and I'm going to sew around the edge just to finish that. Now that I'm at this point, I'll just turn this right side out. So my plan, and frankly I'm kind of making this up as I go along, but my plan is to have this padding be able to slide back and forth. I don't know if you can see that, but you know, so the strap, the, the webbing strap will remain loose inside the pad so that when I adjust the length of the strap, the pad can stay centered on one's shoulder. Uh, but it's very loose now because this is such a narrow width of webbing. So what I'm going to do now is sew a seam along each edge here just to kind of tighten that up and uh, I think it will give it a nice appearance also. I just want to be super careful that I don't sew over the webbing and then trap it in place and then this won't be able to slide anymore. So I'm just going to take it really slow. I'm going to walk this by hand to the corner and then turn the corner and sew in towards the webbing just to tighten this up a little bit. Now I'll just skip over the webbing, do the same thing down the other side. It's easy to step on the pedal back up too far or forward too far, so I just want to go one stitch back, so I'm just going to do that by hand. With this machine, I can put it in the reverse position and it'll stay there when I turn the wheel. Some uh, home base machines, all my other machines, I have to hold it down for reverse and reach over with the other hand or something. It's a little bit more cumbersome, but this machine makes it pretty easy to do. So just go back one stitch and then go back to forward to finish. And again, I'll just walk it to the corner so I don't overshoot. Stopping to test that I haven't trapped the webbing inside the padding, and I'm good so far.
As you can see, it's not perfect, but you know, it's handmade. On one end of my strap, I've attached this snap hook that'll connect to the D-ring that I sewed into the bag. For the other side, I'm going to take a short piece of webbing and attach another snap hook and this adjuster so that the other end of the strap can go through this and you can adjust the length. So here's the finished bag. I just threw a bunch of clothes and stuff in this thing and carried it about a mile from my house. And feels like a duffel bag. I mean, it's reasonably comfortable to carry, uh, has plenty of capacity. I've definitely got a, a long weekend's worth of clothing in here if I wanted to use this for a, a weekend overnight bag. Let me give you a closer look. I clipped a couple of carabiners into the webbing loops just to kind of show the utility of having those loops. You could put, you know, a Velcro attachment for another pouch or use the carabiners to attach things. Lots of options are available. The flap pocket is big enough to hold a set of keys, uh, maybe a gym membership card. Uh, I was gonna make it big enough to hold my phone and I just didn't. If I do need to put my phone in an external pocket, I can always use the zipper pockets on the side. Perfect for my jump rope for CrossFit. Plastic grab handle I originally wanted to get rid of, but I actually kind of like it now. It comes apart easily to gain access to the bag. And it makes it pretty comfortable to carry when you're just using the carry handle. And then the shoulder strap, the padding is pretty minimal, but it's a duffel bag. It's not meant to uh, you know, be a backpack or uh, something you're gonna carry for days at a time. The strap is adjustable by means of this buckle. On the end of the strap I sewed another plastic D-ring. I suppose you could hang something from this if you really wanted to. I just mostly did it for a neater appearance. So there you have it. If I were to just make this bag without filming and if I had all the materials and supplies that I needed, I think I could knock it out in a day and I don't know what I'm doing. A lot of this stuff I kind of figured out as I made it. Uh, and I'm sure there's lots of improvements that could be made. But that's kind of the fun of making these kinds of things is you make one and find out what you could do better so then you have to make another one. I decided to donate this bag. Uh, my, my workplace is doing a silent auction for a charity. Uh, so I decided I'm gonna donate this bag for that auction and use it as a learning experience to make my next bag maybe a little bit better. If you have any questions, feel free to post a comment below. And if you like this video, please click like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.